Take two. Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke, here at Curdo's Ring of Fire here in beautiful bucolic Yonkers, New York. And uh, happy new year. I want to get right out of the gates here quickly with a video. Um, it's about grilling. It's about what I made yesterday, New Year's Day. Um, quite frankly, we're going to make this short and sweet. I had the best steak I have, not only have I ever made, but I've ever tasted anywhere. Okay. Um, had a prime rib that I bought from my friends over at Vincent's and on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx and spun a three bone prime rib on the Kamado Joe, the ceramic cooker. But here's what we did. We spun it. We put it on the rotisserie. Totally different ball game than the way that I've made it the prior two years where I put it on the Memphis smoker pellet grill and smoked it low and slow for a couple hours and then seared it. No, this time totally different. Put it on the rotisserie, seven, eight pounds three bones, let it spin for an hour and a half at 300 degrees. All we were spinning over, there were no grates under it, no indirect plates, nothing like that. It was simply fogo charcoal and some wood also. We had some oak wood and oak wood chunks. So it was spinning over a live fire, old school way, like the old English used to do back in the day and uh, with their holiday roasts. And my golly, I can tell you right now, it was absolute next level. Um, I know that last year when I made the prime rib around this time, I did call, I think in the YouTube post, I called it perfect prime rib on the Memphis uh, grill. Um, I'm not taking anything away from the Memphis grill. I love it. But when you take a piece of protein like I did and you put it on a rotisserie, okay, and you start spinning that thing over fire, and I'm not talking about putting it on a rotisserie in a gas grill, okay, where you're, you're going over ceramic uh, refractory briquettes, you're going over stainless grates. No, gas. No, no, no. I'm talking about spinning over fire. Okay, we're talking getting back to the primal state of things. Early man, okay? It just, I mean, I should just shut my mouth right now. Just look at the pictures, watch the video. It's completely insane. Anybody who's going to get a charcoal, get a Kamado smoker, and not get a rotisserie, you're nuts. And it, to my friends out there who buy the premium gas grills from me, and even the Napoleons and Weber's for that, but the Napoleons, and they don't buy, they, they, they ask me, do I really need the rotisserie? Do I have an option not to buy one? You guys are out of your minds. You have no idea, no idea how the rotisserie and that spinning action, that self-basting action, completely elevates the taste of the food. Now, we take that to a whole, whole, to the nth degree because now we're doing it over live fire. And that's going to be a big focus this year for me, particularly with the Ring of Fire opening, um, is cooking over fire, cooking over flames. I mean, yes, I have numerous gas grills in my house and, you know, out of the convenience, and we're going to cook on those as well. And I know that 90% of the folks out there, that's all they want to do. But there is a subset, there is a niche category out there of folks who want to grill and they want to do it over live fire because I knew that they're taking that thing to the just we're going to another universe in terms of just all the olfactory reasons kicking in the sight the smell the um, uh, that taste that you're eventually going to uh, you're going to enjoy I mean I like I said I can't even really describe this it's something that needs to be experienced in person I mean you see the visuals, um, but the olfactory senses, I mean, they're just begging for this, man. The taste, the smell, the fire, the charcoal, the wood, the meat. I mean, it's just, it's just something that um, I wish I'd been doing this earlier. I mean, I really only started going wild with this stuff about four years ago. But, um, folks, we have it here. We have it here. We have the Kamado Joe. We have all the other uh, ceramics that matter as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we've got gas grills with rotisseries. It's all good. Come visit us. Curdos for the indoor. The Ring of Fire for all things outdoor. Outdoor specialty cooking. We're here to serve. Okay. Jonathan at Curdos.com. Hit me up. Email me. It's always easier that way. I'll answer any questions. Jump on the internet now. Go Google Kamado Joe. Joe Tisserie. Rotisserie recipes. Whatever it may be. Let somebody else school you as well. But I'm telling you right now, I don't think that I'm going to be able to get on a video a year from now and say that I bested the prime rib from New Year's Day 2019. I don't know how it can get any better than this, but I will try because we are always looking for continuous improvement here. Folks, thank you. JonathanAcurdos.com. Happy New Year.